So with the big five, what we're looking at is the varying degrees of traits that different personalities have. So what do you think a trait is? Um, like something that you inherit. That's biology. So good. <laughs> so kind of. So what it is is it's the parts that make up our personality. Now that can be like we have connected links between personalities and genetics that you know you're more like your mom or you're more like your dad kind of thing. But in this case it means like the little different parts that make up our personality. So the big five are these five ranges here. So we say that you could say a lot about a personality if you know where a given personality falls on each one of these ranges. So the first one is conscientiousness, which basically ranges from being organized and careful and collected to disorganized and careless and kind of just you're all over the place. So where you hit on this, and you know most people hit somewhere in the middle or somewhere on there. It's not always that everybody is like here or here. That's actually not very common. So next we have agreeableness, which basically means like, it ranges like it says from soft-hearted to ruthless, but it basically means like, do you, are you the type of person that gets along with people or are you the type of person that is like your way or the highway kind of thing. The next is neuroticism, which ranges from being a worry word to like super calm and Worrying, you see, is on the lower range because we say that it's a lot easier to be somebody who's worried than somebody who keeps their cool in given situations. And then we have openness to experience, which basically means are you the one that's like out there planning it and imagining all these dream vacations and like you're good to go? Or are you somebody who's just really down to earth and go with the flow and you know, whatever you guys want to do. So this is the type of person who's going to be like, I can't go on a vacation unless I have an itinerary for every day kind of thing. And this is the type of person that's like, whatever you want to do, let's just go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then the last one is extroversion, which basically ranges from being a social butterfly to, you know, what many people would consider a loner. But the difference is with extroversion and introversion is if you're extroverted, then what is relaxing for you is being around people mm -hmm. and being able to vent and socialize and do those kinds of things. But if you're an introvert, then that can actually stress you out.